Cottonwood Mall was an enclosed shopping mall in Holiday, Utah that opened in 1962 and closed in 2008. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The Beehive State's first shopping mall was located 10 miles southeast of Temple Square in Salt Lake County's unincorporated Cottonwood community. Cottonwood Mall occupied a 52-acre tract and was originally 543,000 square feet. The fully enclosed $14 million mall consisted of a main floor, small downstairs mall, and a mezzanine of leased office spaces. It was anchored by a two-level, 128,000 square foot ZCMI store, owned and operated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. ZCMI was the chain's first branch location and was dedicated on March 26, 1962. It joined two mall tenants who had already opened for business, an Albertsons Food Center and a freestanding Cottonwood Bowling Lanes. The mall held its official grand opening on August 16, 1962, when 18 stores made their debut. By December of that year, the shopping hub housed 38 stores and 15 offices. Charter tenants included Josco Drug, La Rise Ladies Wear, Hot Shops Cafeteria, Anita Shops Ladies Wear, Arthur Frank's Men's Wear, and an F.W. Woolworth's Five and Dime. A two-level, 40,000-square-foot The Paris Department Store began business on July 27, 1964. A Makoff's Ladies Wear Store had also been built on the south end of the mall. The retail roster now listed 56 stores and services, including a ZCMI Car Care Center, which had opened in March of 1964. In July of 1968, the General Corporation Fox Cottonwood Mall Theater showed its first feature. The venue had 850 seats in a single auditorium. The theater would eventually expand into a twin screen operation. Ground was broken in March of 1968 for a two-level, 161,000 square foot JCPenney. The store opened on the south end of the complex on April 16, 1969. If you went to the mall in the 1970s and 80s, you may have remembered Fashion Fabrics, Singers, Orange Julius, Zales Jewelers, Fernwoods, Baker's Shoes, Hallmark Cards, Coachman's Restaurant, Raspberry Records, Hart Brother Music, Hammond's Toys and Hobbies, Zenix, and Pearson's. ZCMI at Cottonwood Mall was expanded with a third level and an adjacent parking lot. The store now encompassed 237,000 square feet. A renovation of the mall was announced on June 1981. This project was to include modernization of interior spaces with new skylights and flooring. The courtyard food court was built in the vacant supermarket. The Paris store closed and divided into inline retail spaces. The second story and the adjacent office mezzanine were refitted as part of the new upper level of retail. This connected with the upper level that had been added to the mall's south wing. The west facing facade on the shopping hub was also remodeled. When the renovation was officially dedicated on November 10, 1983, Cottonwood Mall encompassed 743,000 square feet and housed 150 stores and services. 
In 1993, Woolworths, which was the last operational store in the state, closed. The property became part of the newly formed city of Cottonwood Holiday in November of 1999. The name of the municipality was shortened to Holiday in December of the same year. In 1999, the ZCMI chain was sold to St. Louis-based May Department Stores, which retained the ZCMI nameplate. On April 18, 2001, ZCMI closed and was rebranded under May's Portland, Oregon-based Meyer & Frank. Meanwhile, the shopping venue had been acquired by Chicago-based General Growth Properties in 2002. But by this time, the mall was in a downward spiral. Starting in the early 2000s, Cottonwood Mall suffered high vacancy rates, and by 2004, the mall was approximately 25% vacant. On September 9, 2006, Meyer and Frank closed. The store would reopen as Macy's. Sometime around 2006 or 2007, J.C. Penney closed its doors after almost 40 years at the mall. General Growth Partners first announced plans to redevelop the mall in July of 2007. A month later, the Holiday City Council deemed the mall blighted. General Growth tore the mall down in mid-2008 as the beginning of the redevelopment. Original redevelopment plans called for the Lifestyle Center to be built around the existing Macy's store. The plan was to replace the 1960s mall with a mixed-use community known as Cottonwood. Based on an old-world European street motif, the open-air complex was to include a 617,000-square-foot retail, 226 office suites, and 614 residential units. The existing Macy's was left standing, along with the out-parcel TGI Friday's restaurant. The remainder of the Cottonwood Mall was reduced to rubble. A TGI Friday's restaurant in the parking lot closed in March of 2009. Redevelopment of the mall halted in 2009 when General Growth Properties filed for bankruptcy. As part of the settlement of the bankruptcy, all potential retail development was placed under the supervision of the Howard Hughes Corporation. In 2017, the Macy's, which was to anchor the new Cottonwood development, closed. This may have caused the Howard Hughes Corporation to give up entirely on the project. Numerous plans were drafted and amended with the number of housing units reduced to 775. Maximum building heights were shortened to seven floors and green space increased from 14 to 19 acres. The new plan was approved in May of 2018. However, there was still some degree of community opposition to the prospectus. In 2023, a new development will be ready for occupancy. It will include a theater, retail, parking garages, multifamily residential townhomes, and single family homes. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was... Four, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what do you remember about this mall? Leave a comment or some more details that I may have missed or maybe even a suggestion for a future mall video you would like to see. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions. 
Thanks for watching.